What comes to your mind when you think of Las Vegas? Is it parties day and night, nightclubs, gambling and all of that? Or did you also know that you can tour the seven continents of the world inside of this city? Behind us, there's the Eiffel Tower of Paris. You can visit so many other countries in this uh, city. We're going to take you around the world, a tour around the seven continents in this video. Travel with us around the world in Vegas. Let's take a trip to the Great Britain. This uh, Excalibur Hotel is a medieval British castle with a medieval theme inside. Let's go and see it. Continuing on in Europe, we arrive at Paris. A magnificent Eiffel Tower replica stands at the entrance to the Paris Hotel. Inside the hotel has a very Parisian feel. Right when you enter, you see the bridge that crosses over Seine River. The streets, cafes and building maquettes all resemble Paris. On the outside, there's a beautiful French restaurant called Mon Ami, and the structures around the hotel replicate famous Paris landmarks, including the Palais Garnier, the famous Paris Opera House. Continuing on in Europe, our next stop is Barcelona. Sunset Station is a bit farther from the Strip and you need to drive 20 minutes to get to it. The inside has a Spanish theme and there's a bar called Gaudi Bar that has decorations all over it that resemble the style of Antoni Gaudi, the famous Catalan architect which has his hands all over most tourist attractions in Barcelona. The walls and ceilings of the bar resemble Casa Batio and Casa Mila, 
two of Gaudi's famous jobs. And other elements in the bar remind you of Park Güell, a whole park in Barcelona with Gaudi artifacts all around it. Continuing our journey through Italy, now we're at Venice. This resembles Venice Canal, but also inside the hotel there's another Venice Canal. And you can ride these gondolas, and it's pretty pricey, but it's beautiful. The Venice Hotel also has one of the famous clubs in Vegas called Tao Club. And in the warm season, it's one of the clubs that holds pool parties, referred to as beach clubs in Vegas. Let's take a break from touring the world and enjoy the beach club a bit.
Our next destination is Ancient Rome, a massive resort called Caesar's Palace. This hotel may be the most magnificent and artistic hotel in Vegas because there's beautiful Roman statues and decorations all over the huge palace, both inside and outside. There's a replica of Trevi Fountain outside the hotel. There's a stunning fountain of gods in the inside with Roman gods all around it, a replica of Statue of David, and many, many more. This hotel also has, in my opinion, the most beautiful pool in Las Vegas, which is decorated by huge Roman statues all over it. Crossing the Mediterranean Sea and reaching the Middle East, we now take a visit to the Grand Bazaar of Vegas, replicating the Grand Bazaar of Istanbul in Turkey. The shops here resemble the souks and bazaars in Middle Eastern countries. Previously when we visited, there was Turkish kebab and Middle Eastern street food here as well. But unfortunately, this time a major section of the bazaar was closed for construction. This bazaar is located in front of the Horseshoe Hotel, which was formerly named Bali's. Continuing our trip through the Middle East, now we're going to the south of the Mediterranean, to Egypt. And this is the famous Giza statue. And behind it, there's the Egyptian pyramids, which we're going to see from a different angle.
we're going to step into the center of Africa. Yeah, the Rainforest Cafe. It reminds you of the rainforest in Uganda, Rwanda, etc., where it's the only place and it's the only part of the world where you can see mountain gorillas in the forest. Continuing our trip through Africa, now we're on the east side going to Ethiopia. Let's go inside and we'll see how it looks. Hello, how are you guys? Hello, <laughs> Salam. <laughs> Live in Los Angeles. Uh, Los California. Angeles, California. Do you live here in Vegas? Yeah, I'm living here. Yeah. This is coffee bean. Yeah, the coffee bean. Yeah. Let's go to the east side of the continent of Asia, China and Korea. All of these are represented in this Chinatown here. Uh, it has a beautiful mall with a lot of Asian themes. But if you want to stay at a hotel that has kind of a kind of an Asian theme, you can go to Win. You can see these uh, lion statues and a lot of these hanging balls there made of flowers and Win. Uh, we're going to show you that as well. But this Chinatown is the most place that you can get an authentic Asian feel. Also the buildings are uh, very... Uh, they have an uh, Asian architecture.
Now let's take a walk in the beautiful Wen Hotel where the decorations are inspired by Chinese decorations. The two lions at the door also look very similar to those we just saw in Chinatown. Thank you. We're now at Bellagio Hotel which has a famous beautiful garden which changes themes every season. We visit it every time we're in Vegas just to see what the new decorations are. This season it had a Japanese garden theme.
We're now in Planet Hollywood, representing the vibe in Hollywood, California. Although the buildings don't really resemble those in Hollywood, there's theatric vibe, the huge symbolic statue of a Hollywood girl, the V Theater, all give out a feeling of Hollywood. It's needless to say, but one of the most unique places in the world that you can experience in Las Vegas is Las Vegas itself. So let's take a look at the original part of Las Vegas. Before all current resorts and casinos were built in the Strip, Fremont Street in downtown was home to all the action in Las Vegas. And today, this area has become one of the liveliest streets in the world. With the biggest LED screen in the world covering the entire street, live music performances every night, and people walking and dancing on the streets. Now let's go from the west side of the US to the east and visit New York City. Here on the outside you can see the Statue of Liberty replica and behind it the New York New York Hotel is designed to look like the skyscrapers of Manhattan. In the inside, the streets replicate Brooklyn and Manhattan. These houses are designed in Brooklyn style with black balconies and ladders. This is Broadway Street, named after the famous street in New York with all the Broadway shows. There's also a Broadway theater at the end of this street.
Now we're at the Cancun Hotel. You can see the big sign of Cancun and the Mayans in my background. And this is, uh, this is actually a Hilton Hotel. We're gonna go see what it looks like inside. Flamingo Hotel has real flamingos in its huge garden with a very tropical sensation. It takes you to tropical places such as Aruba where there are lots of flamingos. Next, we're stepping into Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <clears throat> and this uh, Rio sign at the door, at the back door, is the sign of the Brazilian carnival in Rio de Janeiro that happens once a year. We just met a cute and fun couple from Florida, Jamie and Brian, having drinks together at the Rio Hotel. Cheers! Thank you so much. And you know, did you hear the government that just executes people because of their political and religious beliefs? It's ridiculous. That's how corrupt the United Nations is. But. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
The final continent which we haven't yet shown you in this video is the South Pole. The closest place you can find to the South Pole in Las Vegas is the ice bar. In this ice bar, everything is made of ice. And even in the summer heat of Las Vegas, you need to wear a special super warm jacket to enter, which they give you at the door. It gives you the unique experience of being at the pole. There's ice huts all over the place and the drinks are served in ice cups. We went to Vegas.